Hey, how are you? Going. Oh, this is so perfect because you're in your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good time to do it since I'm leaving for work in a little bit. Thank you so much for doing oh. this, Zoe. I hope it's not in an inconvenience to you at all. No, not at all. Okay, this is so cool. Awesome. So I'm pulling up my questions. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm already recording, um, and I'm gonna edit it a bunch. So if you pause or whatever, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> So, I guess just a bit about you. What's your name and what do you do for a living? Did you always want to do this career? My name is Zoe Paulberg. I'm a deputy sheriff at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Um, I've been employed for the sheriff, with the sheriff's office for a little over two years now. Um, I went to college down in Tampa, Florida for public health. I studied public health, got a major in public health, um, but ended up going law enforcement route. For some reason, that's just kind of... Um, I did my internship with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and realized I loved it. So I applied, and next thing you know, I was in the academy. And That's and, so cool. Yeah. So to clarify, did you go to college for public health before you went to the police academy? Is that what you Yeah, said? I did. Okay. Yeah. Very and cool. And then my, my last semester of school, um, I did my internship. That's when I realized I loved right. law enforcement. So then I, I applied to the police academy and – the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and got in and went from there. That's awesome. So the connection between the public health brought you to the law yeah. enforcement field. Um, so what was your training and certification like there once you got into the law enforcement program? What was that like? Yeah, so the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, you applied to them first. And then once they accept you and hire you, they then put you through the police academy and all the proper classes and certifications that you need. Um, they pay you to go through it, and they pay for the academy itself. So, so, so you're in Florida, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, <laughs> so we're in Florida. <laughs> yeah, I was driving. I was rushing to get to this in the snow. I'm driving in the snow. I'm like, oh, no. Zoe's in Florida. <laughs> I was like thinking that on the way. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. So, is it like that typically? Is that unique to where you? It landed or is that kind of do you know if that's well, like that's standard? agency um other agencies around you have to self-certify yourself so you have to put yourself through the police academy and then apply to agencies and they hire you from there um so it all depends on the agency yeah so it yeah. it really differs that's cool mm -hmm. um so you're a deputy sheriff what yeah. what role how is that different from like a cop like what are the levels i guess what career roles within law enforcement right so deputy is um for the county so oh. county we cover all the unincorporated areas of hillsborough county um and then officer police officer would be the city right. so there'd be tampa police department we have plant city police department temple terrace police department um so those are those are all officers in any area that's not covered by those city limits would be hillsborough county so deputy just means we're the county do you find like a different, have you always done it for the county? Have you done the other like town? Do you find a difference in those experiences or do you know? Um, I haven't worked for yeah. any of the local cities, but um, a lot of our areas cross over and it's, you know, the jurisdiction line might be, okay, on this side of the road, it's Hillsborough County. On that side of the road, it's Tampa Police Department. So it's very, I mean, we're pretty much working the same area. That's cool. Do you work with someone when you go into work? Do you have like a partner in the car? Or? <laughs> we don't ride uh, partners to cars. Yeah. We're only by ourselves in the car, but I have a whole squad. So I have um, two zone partners that work the same zone. It's kind of probably like a five mile radius. And then within my whole area, I have other zone partners and, and squad mates. Very that cool. Help that you would be in contact with. Right. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Um, so what are your hours? Like, what is your typical day or night like? So my hours are 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, it's 12 hour shifts. Wow. We work 84 hours bi-weekly. So we have short weeks and long weeks. This week is my long week. So I work Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then, so five hour, 12 hour, five, 12 hour shifts. Yeah. And then my short week, I work Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, wow. So I have 60-hour weeks and 24-hour weeks. 
Do you like that? That sounds nice. I would like I, that. I, I like it a lot. Actually. Yeah. The four weeks, you have the weekend off, so I've ever the weekend off, and it, it balances out well. Yeah, that would be nice on the short weeks. Um, <laughs> okay, so what are your favorite slash least favorite parts of your job? My favorite part is, um, well, every day is different. Yeah. You never know. You never know what. You know that could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Um, but every day is different, so you always, you know, there's always something different. You're meeting a ton of people. You work for an agency, um, so you, you have a lot of opportunities, career opportunities, and it's you help people all day. Yeah. So it's pretty. It's really rewarding. That is really rewarding. Um. Least favorite. Uh, work a night shift <laughs> messes up your internal internal clock, um, but you know it's doable. And and the schedule is I like the schedule a lot, so that's that's great. Do you find I would think that the night shift is probably stranger calls too, or do you think that it doesn't it very like it, it all depends. It all depends. Um, yeah, you can't predict that stuff. Right and. I find day shift, especially in the area I work, maybe it's, you know, it depends on the area. Um, but there's a lot of traffic during the day. There's a big mall there. Uh, it's very residential. There's a lot of businesses. So during the day, there's a lot of hustle and bustle. There's a lot of people. There's always traffic. There's always something going on during the day. At night, most of the businesses are closed. So we, it's mostly just residential calls at night. Um, so it's, it's different calls that you're going to. But it's a little bit less chaotic at night because you're not dealing with the traffic and just influx of people. Yeah. Can you think of, like, I don't know how much you can speak to this, um, but, like, has there been experiences that stand out in your mind, like, um, that were either really rewarding or, like, kind of scary situations? Like, do you have – can you speak I'd to say, that? I'd say um, what I didn't expect as much is – is how much we deal with um, mentally ill. Uh, so that's, we get a lot of calls with yeah. mentally ill. We do a lot of, um, we bring a lot of people to mental health facilities. Yeah. We can get the help that they need, but there's a lot of people that, you know, aren't receiving the help that they need. So it kind of finds itself in other, in other situations. Totally. And you, and it falls on police. That makes total sense. Like mm -hmm. to deal with, mm -hmm people who are going unchecked and untreated. I think a lot of homeless people are in the same situation yes. and then the cops get called on them too. It's kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. That when makes... people don't know what, what to do or how to handle situations, they'll call us. Yeah. Whether it's, te you know, technically a call that we, we handle or not, we're getting, we're, we get a lot of those calls. Yeah. Um, do you, what advice would you give to someone, anyone just starting out in the field, maybe like, a young lady in particular, or what, what would you impart? What wisdom would you impart on these students? Um, oh, that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> My loud um, laugh. Definitely keep up um, your physical and mental health. Yeah. That's, that's a huge thing, um, and those kind of go hand in hand anyways. But with our crazy schedules, even if you're working day shift, you know, you're working long hours, and uh, just – Keeping up physically, in case you ever need, you know your your cardio or your strength for any. It's a any physical reason. job. Yeah. Um, keeping up mentally, it's mentally draining. You're dealing with a lot of a lot of bad situations all the time. You're dealing with everyone else's problems, so sometimes you put your own in the back burner. Totally. So just making sure you, you keep up um, and listen to your body. If you need a day to just chill at home and relax, take that day. You know, get the exercise, eat healthy, and just try to maintain maintain yourself yeah know yourself and mm -hmm. and work with it that that makes total sense it, mm -hmm. I can't imagine I this like being the one to be called in like an emergency situation <laughs> like that is amazing yeah it's yeah. incredible work um so that was kind of quick I don't really have those are my questions um I know that the young man in class is thinking about going into just being a cop. I don't know if he's necessarily sure what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I might interview like a detective. Do you work with detectives 
ever? Or do you work with other law enforcement roles? Like, Yeah, so especially, uh, well, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, we're a huge agency. So we have, you know, we're constantly working with detectives, whether we have a call at night and detectives need to come out, or I initiate a case and then they continue and, and research more about it. Um, but we're always working with detectives. My fiance is actually um, on the SWAT team. Oh, no way. Yeah, so he's on a SWAT call right now, actually. We had a bank robbery, and the suspect shot two people. So that person, the suspect, is held up in some place right now, so the SWAT team's out there trying to trying to get him out and to surrender, so kind of craziness. But Oh, my gosh. You're not in Maine. <laughs> <laughs> not in Maine. No. But, wow. Uh, so yeah, you're... I work closely with, with other people within the agency. Um closely with child protective investigators when they go out and get a call about, you know, child abuse or child, child neglect, we'll go out with them there with them to interview the family, the victims, the suspects. Um, and then we do work with other agencies. If Tampa police department needs help on a call, since we're so close in jurisdiction, we'll go there and, and help them out and vice versa if we ever need to. Very cool. Um, What's the difference between, so county and state police is just a larger jurisdiction? Yeah, so state police here is Florida Highway Patrol, FHP. They deal with all the major roads. So if we have a car accident on a major road, highway, or just even the major roads through the city or the towns, they usually handle those. Mm. So they deal with pretty much all that. Um, and then we do all the actual calls, and I have one calls is what we mostly deal with. Do you have to do anything to maintain your certification or is it kind of like once you're licensed, you're licensed or certified? I don't know. Yeah. For the sheriff's office, there's certain things we need to maintain every year. Um, we have what's called in service. So we have to show our proficiency with our firearm, um, defensive tactics. Um, we have to do a physical test every year as well. So that kind of just keeps us up to, Make sure we're we're maintaining those those abilities. Yeah. To hold, to hold that within the sheriff's office. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To to see how well you've been taking care of your mental and physical health all yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's so interesting. It's such a different line of work. Um, yeah, I never thought that this was. I had no idea this is what I wanted to go into. Yeah. Until, it was literally in my last semester of college, and I needed like 400 internship hours and I'm like oh my gosh I have three months what can I do to get that many so I can graduate and someone suggested doing ride-alongs with the sheriff's office um, 12 hour shifts so I can bust out a lot of those in a week and I was able to get my full 360 hours I needed and then I realized wait a minute I've never thought about doing this but this is this is awesome yeah really really cool that's so great and and I love that you, you, you're not sitting at a computer for the whole day, you know what I mean? Do you ever have to log things and, like, document? Yeah, so you... I'm on a computer all day pretty much. Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're moving. I'm, my car is my office. So I'm, I'm, that's another, definitely another um, plus is that I'm not sitting at a desk all day. I'm not in, a, in an office with the same spot. I'm in my car all day or all night. Um, and then we get dispatched through our radio system and our computers. So I write my reports on my computers. I log everything down on my computers. Everything's done, pretty much done on the computer. Um, but I'm in my car. So it's, I have everything I need in my car as it, as it would be like an office or a desk. That's so interesting. Um, do they give you, you like get a new car when you join, they give you the car. You don't yeah. Have, yeah. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think I have any other questions. I know, I just know when I sign off, I'm going to be like, oh, <laughs> I thought of that question. Yeah. Um, well, that's so cool. I don't know. I guess you probably see more like high profile crime in Florida, I would assume, than up here that goes on. Um, have you ever thought about like, like, do you, did you move to Florida before you became a cop or like, were you 
Yeah, I moved to Florida before I became a cop, and I mean, I'm I haven't had much experience up north about any sort of thing law enforcement, but uh, definitely just from living, you know, I lived in Maine for 18 years. It definitely a lot more experience in more violent and high profile crimes going on down here. Yeah, a lot more shootings. We have probably a shooting every week or every two weeks, and we had a bank robbery today. We have, you know, we have robberies all the time. So it's it's really it's definitely I'm exposed to a lot more high profile violent crimes down here. That's gotta be scary. I mean, I guess knowing your team and knowing like who you're going in with probably helps some. Like you're never truly alone, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you have your whole squad, like I said, and you have your zone partners, and you know everyone needs to. Everyone's upheld to the same standards. So we go through the same training. We go through the same in service. So you know that your zone partners and your squad, and they're all they're all you know, able to do the job that you're able to do as well. So going to any calls, I just, I feel comfortable having, having everyone I work with there. That's awesome. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> that's yeah. all, that's all I have. Do you have anything else you want to add? Just, or. Um, can I go back to what I already said, but I mean, if you have any other questions, you can always, you know, we can, yeah. we can do another one of these. And yeah. After I show the video, I'm sure they'll be like, can you ask her this? <laughs> like, yeah, yes. any follow questions we can do. Yeah, we can do this again. And okay, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. I hope you have a good shift tonight. No robberies or yeah. shootings or... I know, I hope not. <laughs> Stay safe. There's no snow. There's so much snow up here right now. Oh, I know, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. It was like, it's like 50 degrees here at night and I'm like, I have my jacket on. Oh my God. Like, it's cold. <laughs> You got your parka and like your... Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, I'll send you this when I edit it so you can see what I'm showing the kids. And thank you so much. This is huge. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Let me know if you have any other questions or anything else. Thank you, Zoe. Bye. Yeah. Bye.